नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू एस सी एल टेक यू नीड परमिशन फ्रॉम ट्रस्टेड इंस्टॉलर टू मेक चेंजेस टू दिस फोल्डर इज द एरर मैसेज दैट यू आर टू गेटिंग लाइक मी देन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस एरर सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो बिफोर आई एम आई वुड टेल यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक अ लिटिल टाइम टू नो वाई दिस एरर इज कमिंग बिकॉज इट इज मोस्ट क्रूशियल टू सॉल्व दिस सो Microsoft is created a security mechanism to protect the system files of uh, your Windows because if by mistakenly you deleted uh, some system files then your whole Windows will be dead so that's why Microsoft has created a system user that is called trusted installer that have the right to protect system files if you are an admin if you are a system admin uh, then again still you can't delete or copy some files to the system folder or make changes to the system folder so that's a security mechanism that is provided by microsoft to protect our uh, laptop or windows but still i i assume that you still want to do uh, change make changes to the folder and file so if you still so if you still want to do the changes then now let's start how you can do this so first of all i uh, click on cancel okay and let's assume that this is the folder that you want to copy some file in this folder or want to delete it whatever the reason the process is same just because i have tell you the logic what's the reason behind it so let's do it so let's assume that i want to delete this folder or want to go make changes to it so click on properties and in the security tab if you click on advanced okay so in the advanced section now you can see it the owner is trusted installer okay so that's why you can't do make ch uh, changes and anything so first of all we will take the ownership from trusted installer to the user that is currently logged so click on change okay so it say that you need administrator permission uh, because right now i am a normal user so i need administrator permission to do this so if you don't know how you can enable uh, built in administrator account or enable the admin account then click on the i button i have created a video on how you can enable it so click on yes uh, because i have enabled my admin account and in the advanced section click on find now and you will search for the currently user that you are logged in in my case it is scl tech okay so i will search for the scl tech so i will search scl tech and as you can see there is the scl tech click on okay click on okay and now uh, take very very a uh, precaution here so now the owner i am changing to scl tech okay and there is a option that is say replace owner or sub container and object that means ki if uh, there is another folder or files inside this folder uh, so you will click on this too if you want to uh, same grant the permission to the sub folders also okay so in my case it is just a single folder so i will leave it but if you have a folder in folder okay so you will click on replace the this option you will tick also okay so now we will click on apply okay so it is saying that if you have just take ownership of the object you will need to close the re and reopen it so click on okay and click on okay okay so now let's again click on refresh and uh go to the folder that is we want to make changes here in this case en click on properties and in the security tab again click on advanced and now if you see the owner has changed from a uh, trusted installer to scl tech so now let's see uh, can we delete this folder or make changes to this folder or not in my case it is delete in your case there will be different operation the process will be same so now uh, we have taken the ownership now again click on properties and click on security and in the advanced section now as you can see the owner is scl tech okay so now the ownership has changed from trusted installer to scl tech now we have full ownership on this particular folder and we have cap uh, captured or snatched the uh, rights from trusted installer but now there is a one more thing we have to do we will need to add so click on add okay and select a principal and in the again advanced section you will need to provide uh, your you need to click on advanced find now click on search your user that is scl tech 
in my case in your case that is different so search the user that you are currently logging from uh, like by this process click on ok and click on ok okay and now in the basic permission option uh, we will uh, give it to full control so that it can read write and delete everything so I have given the full permission click on ok click on apply and it is saying that you are about to change the permission so click on yes okay and then so now we have taken the ownership and given the full control to the user and now let's check that we can do our desired operation or not in my case it is delete option I want to delete that folder in your case maybe it's it was it is to copy the folder or uh, you want to copy the folder or whatever so let's do and we will see that in this time uh, this error is coming or not so when I click on the delete option and as you can see the folder is easily vanished okay so that means that uh, my operation has completed and the error that is you require permission from trusted installer to make changes to this folder is not getting so that's how you do this was the video guys that uh, that's how you can uh, bypass or solve this error that is trusted installer you need permission from trusted installer but guys before signing off I am again warning you that uh, making changes to the system files or uh, doing this is a little risky thing you can damage your windows in this case what I have shown you is the proper safe uh, process by which you can do this but again a little uh, a notice from my side that don't try to do it and if you still want to do please comment down that why you are trying to uh, do this in most cases I know that you are uh, playing some game uh, in your laptop and want to uh, change something that's why you are you require this so whatever the reason please comment down that why you are doing uh, thing and getting the error uh, trust is from trust installer required permission okay so if this video solve your problem uh, this is the process I have sh uh, shared you the theory uh, the reason behind this error so that you can solve it so if this video solve your problem then like this video comment down that uh, why you are doing this and then comment down that yes I have solved my problem with that video okay share it with your friends and you can subscribe SCL tech if you want more windows related videos on how to tutorials or troubleshooting videos like this your networking videos I will uh, share routers and all videos so check this uh, check my channel see that uh, it is in your interest or not if this is in your interest then you can subscribe and press the bell uh, notification and last but not least if this video solve your problem and added value to your life then you can show your gratitude by giving me super thanks so that was it from my side guys i hope that you'd like this video and uh, last but not least happy independence to all the indians that are watching because today is the uh, today is the independence day in india so happy independence day to all thank you very much